let me let me talk about this real quick. I brought this up to a friend of mine. Um, I did have an idea in regards to to pivot to the digital landscape and still be quote unquote on tour, right? And the idea was basically this. Uh, if you've seen my virtual stand-up comedy shows that I've done over the course of uh, the last year, uh, then you you probably know how they work. Um, you know, I sell tickets like I, like it would be a normal show, gather the emails, and then use the ticketing platform to send out an email with the uh, Zoom virtual theater invitation uh, about an hour before the show. If you were um, a venue, my, my plan was, and, and I didn't figure this out quick enough because I, I basically wanted to run myself as the guinea pig uh, and figure out the glitches and stuff. <clears throat> and then essentially create a a a, a t- idea a, like a template of sorts of how to run Zoom shows for a venue. So you, so then you could just book, um, you could just book the year out like it's a regular tour. Uh, you would be the the venue manager owner, uh, uh, whatever would be the person that would kind of keep an eye on the showroom, the digital virtual showroom via Zoom or Discord or however. Zoom is what I'm more familiar with right now uh, because it was just accessible for me and would allow the most amount of people. So essentially, you can also continue to do a similar door deal so that you can, you know, keep the venue open uh, through this difficult time and pay for the Zoom thing. Uh, and then you just run the show. You have your audience come in. Uh, if it's a comedy show, you can you know monitor how many people have their mics on. If there's feedback, as the venue manager or the sound engineer or whatever, um, you just monitor. And if you hear feedback from particular people, uh, you can turn off their mics. You can mute them. You can turn on mics. You can rotate people. Uh, and, uh, you know, and everybody, everybody would win. That was my plan over the summer. (coughs) And, you know, as things kind of progressed, um, I, I wasn't able to put that plan into effect because venues started doing their own things and I didn't, and I was like, okay, if this is something that works for you, I don't want to throw the wedge and your plans were already in like a stressful situation. (laughs) Why would I want to add more stress to this already stressful situation, right? Uh, so that's kind of the, the, the space that I was in. Um, that was kind of the, the plan for, uh, for, for, for the virtual shows. I mean, it can still be if, if venues want this idea. I, I, I just didn't have the energy uh, and quote-unquote manpower to reach out to as many venues as I know. To, to, to pitch this idea, so to speak. Uh, but, you know, I know a lot of venues ran concerts and live streamed them and so on and so forth uh, and did virtual shows and some venues were doing in-person shows, uh, which I don't particularly agree with, but there are some venues that are, 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 are making it work. Um, point being... I wanted to create a template that would still allow for touring to exist on the virtual landscape in some way, shape, or form. Uh, unfortunately, that didn't that didn't pan out. I'm I'm just one person, um, and essentially, you know, I would be the one person that would have taught a bunch of venues how to do Zoom shows uh, if they if they wanted to do if they wanted to do that. Options still on the table, obviously. Is you know, uh, but we have various other things that that, that are helping uh, independent venues like save our stages and and things like that. Uh, so and, and just regular patrons giving donations to people is kind of fucking amazing. Um, <clears throat> but that was a thought that I had.
Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed the content in this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. My content is highly suppressed because this is not topics of conversation that uh, that the corporate mainstream media really wants to, to, to address here. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Uh, sign up for my email list. Uh, uh, that way you'll get weekly uh, uh, emails with all of the podcasts and all of the videos that I put out there. Um, and make sure you go to my website and follow me there, uh, krishmohanhaha.com. That's going to be your one-stop shop for all things Krish Mohan. That's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. See you in the next video.